And lawyers in Washington, D.C. are pleading to let families out of migrant detention centers as coronavirus cases surge. The civil rights complaint filed against the Department of Homeland Security argues that keeping at-risk adults inside ICE facilities would deny them proper medical care and trigger another round of family separations after ICE set a court order to release high-risk children did not extend to their parents. So joining me now is MSNBC correspondent Jacob Sobroff. He is the author of the new book, Separated, Inside an American Tragedy. So, uh, Jacob, you talk about separations in this book, and now we could have another round of separations on the horizon? In fact, Katie, I literally just got off the flip phone. I have my earpiece in listening to you, but uh, not two minutes before I'm starting to join you here for this segment. Uh, Judge uh, Bosberg in Washington, D.C., D.C. Uh, District Court um, de declined to make a ruling. So there are um, as many as 300 family members in ICE family detention today who are still at risk of family separation by the Trump administration as we talk. Uh, lawyers and advocates will say they were at risk of dying from COVID in detention centers. The judge uh, was not compelled to make a ruling on that today. Uh, ICE could release them right now, as you and I are talking, uh, if they wanted to. Um, but uh, as we speak right now, um, and this is breaking news, those families are still at risk of, uh, of separation by the Trump administration. Jacob, do we know how many um, families this is potentially going to affect? So 335, if I'm not mistaken, I've got to go back and double check, but that was the number that I heard put out by the government in terms of uh, total individuals within these three centers. And you mentioned the book. That's why I wanted to write this book. The idea that family separations were happening two years ago um, is what I think a lot of people um, feel like. That was so long ago. It was so many news cycles ago. Um, President Trump signed the executive order. But the fact of the matter is family separations is still within the arsenal of the United States uh, government, and they refuse to rule it out uh, as a method um, for dealing with migrants in their custody. And, and there are these families now um, when things are arguably worse than they have been before under COVID, uh, that the lawyers are pleading for their lives to let them out. And the government, the Trump administration, uh, and this judge, uh, as of right now, uh, hasn't granted them that yet. The book is called Separated Inside an American Tragedy. The author is my colleague, Jacob Sobroff, and friend. Uh, thanks so much uh, for bringing that, us that breaking news, Jacob. We appreciate it. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.